Hi all, welcome to Learn Code Repeat. Today we will be looking at date 30th of the October Lead Code Challenge. The name of problem is number of longest increasing subsequence. Let us look into the problem. So the problem states given an integer array nums written the number of longest increasing subsequence. So we have to find the number of longest increasing subsequence. So the example here is 1, 3, 5, 4, 7. So here the output should be 2. Why 2? Because one of the subsequence is 1, 3, 5, 7. So this is the longest subsequence and the other is 1, 3, 4, 7. That is another longest subsequence, right? Both the subsequence are of length 4, okay? And uh, in total there are two such longest subsequence. So that's why the output is 2. In the other example they have provided all the numbers as 2, 2, 2, 2. In this case, the longest subsequence is of length 1 and similar to that there are 5 such longest subsequence. So that is why the output is 5. So let us look into example 1 and see how we can build the logic. So in this example the longest subsequence was 1, 3, 5 and 7 and the other was 1, 3, 4 and 7. right? So one of the way to find out longest subsequence is by using dynamic programming. Why dynamic programming? Because at each point, right, we can check what is the longest subsequence till that point. Let's say for my longest subsequence, I'm creating an array, right? So initially, for each number, the number itself can be the longest subsequence, right? So let's say we initialize it with one for all the elements. Okay. Now I can traverse from left hand side to right, right? So 0th index to the end index, keeping two pointers, right? Let's say I have a pointer j at 0 and pointer i at 1, right? Such that i is greater than j. Okay. Now I can check if the number at j is less than i or in other words, i is greater than j. That means it is an increasing subsequence, right? And that is what we are interested in. So, for that index of i, right, we can say that the length of the subsequence for that particular index of i is the length of j plus 1. So, ls of j is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, this will become 2, and that is what we want, right? Uh, the subsequence is 1, 3, which is 2 length, right? Now I will increment i. Again I will check if my nums of j is less than nums of i which is correct. So in that case I will increment my ls of i with ls of j plus 1. So ls of j was 1. Now ls of i is 1 plus 1 is 2. Right? ls of j plus 1 is 2. So 1 and 5 is 2 length that is correct. Now I will increment j, again I will check nums of j is less than nums of i which is true, 3 is less than 5, my ls of i will become ls of j plus 1. So ls of j was 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, so now ls of i will become 3. So 1, 3, 5 is 3 length, so that is what we are getting here, right. So what does this mean? That at this index the length for this subsequence is 3, okay. So how we are checking that? we are checking if my j is less than i. Okay? So my j should always be less than i and I will check for each of the values. So if my j cannot go forward then I need to increment my i and reset my j. So my j will again reset to 0. Okay? Again I will do the same check. If my nums of j is less than nums of i that is right. So this will be one subsequence and in that case I need to increment my ls of i to ls of j plus 1. So it is 1 plus 1 it will be 2. I will increment my j now here. Again I will check if my nums of j which is 3 is less than nums of i which is 4. Yes. So nums of i will be 2 plus 1 which is 3. Now again I will increment my j. I will check if my nums of j is less than nums of i that is not the case. So I need to reset my j and increment i. So I will reset the j to 0 and increment i to this particular number. 
Now, again I will check for nums of i which is 7 and nums of j is 1. So, nums of j is less than nums of i that is right. So, l s of i will be l s of j plus 1. So, that is 1 plus 1 is 2. My j will increment again to this particular point. Again I will check nums of j is less than nums of i yes. So, l s of i will be l s of j plus 1 which is 2 plus 1. So, here it will be 3. So, I will increment j and again I will check if nums of j is less than nums of i that is right. So, l s of j plus 1 which is 3 plus 1 is 4 and that will be l s of i. So, here it will be 4 I will increment j I will again check nums of j is less than nums of i that is correct. So, l s of i equal to l s of j plus 1. So, 3 plus 1 is 4, but this is already 4. So, we do not need to increment again right. So, our condition should be nums of j should be less than nums of i and also l s of i should be greater than l s of j plus 1 right. Only then we need to assign l s of i otherwise we do not need to change l s of i right. So, as we can see here the final value of l s right that will be 4 and that is the length of the subsequence right. So, that is the longest subsequence length, but our question is not to find the longest subsequence length our question is the number of longest subsequence length that we should have right. So, for that we also need to track the count what is the longest subsequence length right. So, let us see for this particular case right whatever we did till now what was the condition right. So, this was the condition that we used to calculate this right if nums of i is greater than nums of j and l s of i is less than l s of j plus 1 in that case l s of i equal to l s of j plus 1. So, here the whole operation we did that way ok. Now, we need to find out the count of this longest subsequence right. So, for that also we can use dynamic programming to see what is the count at each index right. So, let us say I have a count array let me remove this and uh, we can again go through the logic with the count array where count array will be the count at each index the count of the longest subsequence. Okay. So, we have L s array and we have a counter okay. in both the cases initially it will be having one value because the best longest sequence or longest subsequence it will be 1 right. Similarly, for the count the best will be 1 correct the number itself will be the best value. Okay. So, the way we did we will continue it that way where we will check nums of i is greater than nums of j yes and l s of i is less than l s of j plus 1 yes. So, l s of i is l s of j plus 1. So, here it will be 2 ok and when here it is 2 we can check that in that case the count of i should be equal to count of j ok because that is part of the same subsequence. So, the count should be same as whatever is the count of j. Okay. Again, I will go through the next, I will increment the i counter and I will check again. So, nums of j is less than nums of i, so that is what we are checking here, nums of j is less than nums of i. So, in that case, l s of i is l s of j plus 1 provided l s of i is less than l s of j plus 1, which is the case here, l s of i is less than l s of j plus 1. So, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 is less than 2. So, l s of i is j plus 1. So, here it will be l s of j plus 1 which is 2 and similarly since this is part of the same subsequence of j my count of i will be count of j. So, that is already count of j. So, that is fine. I will increment the value of j now. Again I will do the check and here again nums of j is less than nums of i. So, l s of i will be l s of j plus 1. So, here it will be 3 because this condition is satisfied again it is part of the same subsequence. So, count will be equal to the count of j ok it will still remain 1. Now, I will increment i counter and I will reset my j counter again I will check this with 4 this is less than 4. So, l s of i equal to l s of j plus 1 provided l s of j plus 1 is greater than l s of i right l s of j plus 1 is greater than l s of i yes. So, this will be 2 and since this is part of the same subsequence of j. So, count of i equal to count of j ok. So, let us add that condition here 
okay so we have added this condition here so again we'll increment j here so now 3 is less than 4 yes so ls of i will be j plus 1 so here it will be 3 and my count will be the count of j which is 1 because it's part of the same subsequence now again i'll increment j so phi is less than 4 no so i'll increment i here and j i'll reset it to this point okay again 1 is less than 7 yes so nums of j is less than nums of i in that case ls of i equal to ls of j plus 1 provided ls of j plus 1 is greater than ls of i which is the case here so it will be 2 here and increment j now 3 is less than 7 yes so ls of i equal to ls of j plus 1 so this will be 3 okay again since it's part of the same subsequence so count of i equal to count of j so it will remain same and i'll increment j here now now here the value of ls of j is 3 so phi is less than 7 yes so 3 plus 1 is 4 so this will become 4 now so longest subsequence is now 4 and count will be the count of j which is part of this so 1 3 5 7 1 3 5 7 this is one count we have found this now now check here what happens now when j is incremented to 4 okay now 4 is less than 7 yes ls of j plus 1 is it greater than ls of i that is a condition here right ls of i should be less than ls of j plus 1 so here 3 plus 1 is it less than 4 no so that means this is a different branch right so it is like 1 3 5 7 and now we have 1 3 4 1 3 4 right so this is 3 and this is 3 right so to reach 7 right it will become 4 right so we know that this is also 3 and 7 here already the longest subsequence was 4 right so this is part of another subsequence that means right so that means if 4 minus 1 right whatever is my ls of i minus 1 or in other words whatever is my ls of j if plus 1 of that right ls of j plus 1 equal to equal to ls of i in that case that's a different subsequence right so in that case we have to increment this count of subsequence right so whatever is the count of j plus we have to do the count of i so that's what we are doing in the else condition here if ls of i which is this is equal to equal to ls of j plus 1 so j is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 ls of i is equal to 4 okay so ls of j is 3 that means there is a subsequence of 3 which is less than the current subsequence okay in that case there can be another subsequence that means so we have to increment the counter so how can we increment the counter whatever is the counter for that particular subsequence the smaller subsequence plus the counter of the current subsequence so that's what we are doing here count of i equal to count of i plus count of j so here the counter now will become 2 so when we reach here when j reach here when j is less than i so we are incrementing the value of count of i to 2 so now count becomes 2 and we can at the end return this value count of 2 okay and for returning count of 2 we can directly check what is the max of the ls value okay because after 7 there can be let us say 2 or something right so if it is 2 then the value of this right uh, the last value will be 1 and this 2 right so this will be like 2 and this will be 1 count of this value will be 1 so we cannot go with the last index of ls so after this we have to do a one more loop to find out the max value of ls and then check what is the corresponding index for the count and return that value okay so let's look into the code for this so here i have written down the code 
for the same algorithm that we just saw. So, if length of nums is less than or equal to 1, then we can directly return the length, right. So, this is the first if condition and here I am defining the ls and count array and I am prefilling it with 1. Here I am having the two for loops for i and j pointer. So, i is first at 1 and j is at 0 and j is always less than i, right. And here I am doing the same condition that we just saw. If nums of i is greater than nums of j in that case and ls of i is less than ls of j plus 1, then I am doing ls of i equal to ls of j plus 1, right. I am incrementing the length of that particular index at i and similarly the count at i equal to count of j. And if the same condition exists, but at the same time ls of i is equal to equal to ls of j plus 1, right. If that is the case, that means there is a branch out of that, right. There is a subsequence which is shorter or smaller than the current longest subsequence. So, in that case and from that smaller subsequence, it can reach to the longest subsequence. So, we need to add the count of the smaller subsequence to the longest subsequence, right. So, that is what we are doing here. And once we are done with this for loop, then we need to find out what is the max of the longest subsequence. Once I get the max value, then I just need to check that max in the ls array and wherever it is equal, I can just add the count, okay. So, this is the simple addition of the count to find out how many counts are there and at the end return that result. Now, the complexity of this will be O of n square because we are having here two for loop and the space complexity will be O of n because we are here we are using two array of size n, right. Uh, n is the length of the nums array. So, let us submit this and check whether it works fine and the code is accepted. So, hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please do write into the comment section. Thank you.